Over the next five years, I think the biggest disruptive play that's going to happen worldwide is how we educate our students, whether that be our young people or especially in tertiary. We've always thought that universities were buildings full of wise people where people come and gather. I actually think there's going to be a real disruption in how people attain education and where they get that through. So currently we have things called MOOCs, which is online courses, but I think it's going to totally change. I think we're going to lose the long-term degrees and specializations that especially the tech sector go out of date very quickly and start to do much more short courses with specialised education in an online collaborative platform. In New Zealand, I think if you're a primary school principal and you want to get into the STEM fields, which is vital for the future of New Zealand, you really need to be open to collaboration with industry and experts. It's okay that your teachers aren't the best coders in the world, but if they can surround themselves by the right people, our teachers know how to teach the best. So how do we get that information to our students? It's also about collaborating with other teachers and other schools around. We have very siloed schools right now, but actually we're, we're building one New Zealand, so we need to work together. And number three, being open to the fact that schools are going to change, students are going to do a lot more online learning, so how do we help students build out their best potential, which may not be in a siloed science subject or a siloed technology subject, but help build entrepreneurship in our kids so that they can understand how to take their skill set and take those businesses to the world. Women in technology is a subject I'm really passionate about as a woman in tech. I think New Zealand is doing incredibly well compared to some countries, but I still think there's a big drive that we need to push forward. We're currently about 17% women on boards in New Zealand, which is still not great compared to some other countries. And we're 11% women in engineering and IT and infrastructure, which in my opinion is nowhere near high enough to what I would like to be 50-50. Um, I think we need to have a government drive and also a business drive, making sure that things happen like shoulder tapping, leadership training and mentorship to make sure that we have diverse people in industry because we all know that there's financial su success from diversity and also you can solve problems before they become problems when you have a diverse team around you.